Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about getting and inserting slides into the slide deck. So the top 4 methods for this video are get slides, get slide by ID, duplicate, and insert slides. So let's take a look at these methods in the code. In the last episode, we used Slides app to open a presentation by, I, by its ID or by its URL. Now let's get the slides from that presentation. So we have to type in presentation.getslides. This is the first method that we'll be looking at. As you can see, it returns an array of slides. So if we log or log this, and we hit the semicolon, we hit save, we hit run, well, let's look into our presentation again. So I've made a few changes. This was the presentation again that we've created in episode one, but I've added on four more slides. One is red, one is blue, one is gold, and one is green. So we should have five different slides that are now returned to us when we say get slides. So let's view our logs. And here it is right here. So all five slides are now in an array accessible to us. That is cool. So let's just comment that out for now. Well, let's say that we wanted to get a specific slide. Well, we could get that through the slide ID. So if we say presentation dot get slide by ID, here's the method that we want to use. And it takes in a string called ID. Great. So how do you get the ID of a slide? Well, you would have to click on the slide that you want. And it's actually very simple. You just go right back up into the URL. So if you remember, this is what we did when we got the ID of a of a presentation, right? But then the ID of a slide is also included within the URL itself. It's right here. So it says slide equals ID dot. And here it is right here. This is the ID of the slide. So we'll hit copy. And we'll hit uh, uh, quote, paste, quote. Again, this is a string. And also, before I hit run or anything on that, I just want to showcase that, or well, I just want to highlight that if you go up into the title slide, most times when you create a new presentation, the title slide will be given the ID of P. So do not be alarmed if you see that. If you're trying to get this slide by ID and you see it's just one letter long, don't be alarmed by that. That is normal. That is usually how things, uh, how it usually works. And if you just type in, say P right here, that will indeed get your title slide. Great, so if we hit now save and run, let's just see if this is going to uh, give us back our slide, but I'm pretty sure it will because there were no errors. And by the way, this, this, this method, this way of doing things, this process is very similar to that of the spreadsheet server. So if you remember, first we would get a spreadsheet, and then if we wanted to get a sheet or a tab from that spreadsheet, we'd have to say, say, get sheet by name or something like that. So these are mimicking, the, the these methods or this process is, is mimicking the spreadsheet service. All right, looks like we got our slides, so we'll just hit OK. And let's move on now to the next method. So we have gotten slides right here, right? We've got slides here. We got a slide by ID. Now let's say we want to insert slides. Well, one way to easily do that is just by duplicating them. So instead of logging this now, I'm going to store this slide in a constant, call it slide. Alrighty. And now let's say we want to use that slide. Well, we could, or let's say we want to duplicate that slide. So we could hit dot. And then the first method is duplicate. This is exactly what we want. So we'll hit now save and we'll hit run. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all the data from this gold slide and basically just duplicate it right below it. So here was our gold slide, our original gold slide with that ID. And basically what it did is it just took the gold background, the, the data in here, the, the, the formatting of the text, everything, and it duplicated it to this new I uh, this new slider here. And it's kind of cool because if you look at the ID, you get it says slides ID or slides API, which is kind of cool. That's a different uh, type of ID. So you kind of that kind of is a dead giveaway that this was made by a program. Alrighty. So that is duplicate. So if you want a little bit more flexibility though with inserting slides, you don't want to duplicate it, you want to actually have a little bit more control. What you can do is you can use the method of 
uh, insert slide. So let's get our presentation again. And let's say insert slide. And as you can see already, there are a lot of optional parameters. One, there's one for layout, one for predefined layout, one for slide, one for linking mode, a lot of stuff. This video is not about any of that stuff. So I'm just going to breeze through all of this stuff and then maybe in a a, a future episode, we'll go a little bit more deeply, but I'm just going to, I'm gonna cover it all, but I'm going to cover it very briefly. All right, let's use this first method right here. So insert slide, it needs a, a parameter called insertion index. This is basically where in the in the slide deck do you want to insert your new slide? So let's say we want to insert it right after this blue slide. So we know that this blue slide is three. It is slide three, so let's say three, and this is what that three means. It means after which slide in the slide deck, in the presentation, do you want to insert your slide? And since we're not specifying anything else, all it's going to do is just insert a blank slide. As you can see here, there's nothing here, but that's okay, you can always add more stuff if you'd like. All right, so now let's take a little, a little look at all of the other um, methods that we have, or all the other optional parameters. So one is layout. So this is, again, this right here is just a blank screen, but let's say we want to give it a layout. So these are all of our layouts right here. We have title slide, title only, main point. We even created some of our own custom layouts. So. Uh, they're not very exciting right here, but I just needed some custom layouts and the way again to do that is if you went to the master again here are all of your layouts that you can use and then you could just say create new layout and you could create a new layout for yourself, but we're not going to do that again. This video is not about creating layouts. So let's just um, move on. All right, so that would be the layout. If you had a layout that you want to use, you could you could put that right in here. So the next one is the predefined layout. So this is a little bit more strict, but let's say, again, so all of these named ones right here, like title slide, section header, title only, those are all pre-made. So these, when we created this presentation, all of these were, came with it. All of these were pre-made and those were, those. that's what's called a predefined layout. So let me actually just show you that because I feel uh, compelled to. Um, Let's see where it, here it is. Predefined layout. So if you hit the dot button, this is an enum. You can see that all of these are predefined. And if you want to use a layout, say the title in two columns layout, this was already made for you. So AppScript Script knows exactly what you mean when you say this. Alrighty, so that is predefined layout. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is going to be uh, insert slide with a slide. So let's say you really liked uh, this red slide right here but you didn't just want to duplicate it and put it underneath it. You wanted to put this red slide, say after slide uh, five right here in between these two gold slides. Well, that's how you could do it. You could just get that slide and then get it by ID and then put that slide within this, uh, this, parameter, this parameter spot right here. And then you can assign the insertion index to five, I believe, yep, five. So you could do that. And that is how you could use this, this option right here with the slide. All right, this last one I'm actually I am going to showcase because I think it's pretty cool and we need to end this video on a cool note. All right, so this is something called a linking mode. So, in order to set a linking mode, you need a slide from a different presentation. So, this is a different presentation that I have right here and it's full of slides. But let's say we really like this slide and we want to copy everything that's right here, copy this entire slide and then put it on our presentation. So to do that, you know, we need the ID of the slide. Alrighty, so let's copy and paste that right in here. And it's not coming from our presentation anymore, it's coming from this other presentation. So this other presentation is opening by ID. By the way, this is the ID, is opening this presentation basically. And then we're getting the slide by ID, we just copied and pasted that there. We're getting this slide. Awesome, and then we're putting it right here. So let's just say one for the insertion index, and this linking mode is another enum, and that is slides app, and then it's slide linking mode. So it's going to default to not linked, but let's say linked now. So basically what we're gonna do is we're linking those two slides together. And what does that mean? Well, let me hit the run button and show you. So if we go back to our presentation, we can see that yes, we did indeed get all of the data from that previous slide. 
and now it's here and it's inserted into our presentation but because they are linked as you can see there's this little link button right here we can unlink it or open source um, but since it's linked now if we go back into the previous slide and we change some of the data about it say how many programming languages do you need to know now since it's linked again we can uh, this slide is going to know that that previous slide was updated and we can hit the update button right here we could also hit the updated uh, update button programmatically in our code but if you wanted to leave it like this a user could come in here and manually hit this update button and then boom right there now we have the updated slide as you can see they're both the same now and they are properly linked so that is something that I actually do use in my work and I think it's extremely helpful when you're working with slides and trying to uh, insert slides that are linked and I think it's also pretty freaking cool that they can that they can be linked. So that is insert slide and that's also duplicate, get slide by ID, and get slides. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.